What's up y'all, it's your boy Leonum to Kudis and I from Geek, welcome to my channel. Honestly, when I thought I was going to make this video, I thought it was going to be hella long. I'll have to edit people's pictures in to talk about their character arcs and whatnot. But honestly, I feel like I don't need to do that. Because what the show shined in, it shined in. Like, the score, oh my god, the visual effects, the cinematography, the scopes. Like, they were making full blown movies each episode, like... Damn, I was so impressed by the scope of everything. Like, clearly they put the money in the episodes, let me put it that way. But story-wise, probably because the books aren't done, there were some people that were lacking so much. There were so many things unexplained, so many what-the-fuck moments. And the ending, the ending was an ending, let me put it that way. It wasn't satisfactory. I didn't go back Breaking Bad on it. It, no, it was way better than other season finales though, like True Blood and Vampire Diaries Originals or Lost or whatever. It was way better than those ones, but not Breaking Bad level. It's more like Big Bang Theory level of finale, you know what I'm saying? Bran, it makes sense logically wise, but it narratively did not build it up. To get to that point, if you get what I'm saying. Like, logically wise, the three eye raven probably should be the king. But, like, narrative wise, they did nothing to support that. Dude was just like, out oh, here, that's why I'm here, cuz. <laughs> it's like he knew he was gonna win the throne, he knew how many people would have to give up their lives. And I kinda saw from the moment they kill the dead that John was gonna end up with the Nordlings but now that I realize it narrative wise he kind of did a circle I don't like characters who do the circle he's a better person he's different he knows what he wants now and it's not the throne but it's a whole circle Arya's journey is the most exciting one out of all of them at the end of this like people want to spin off of her and I want that shit too let's make that shit happen Honestly, I give this whole season like a 7 out of 10. That's not great, but it's good. It's good. I enjoyed myself. Like I said, it was big scale movies. Week after week, it was a, a cinematic experience at home. So I give them props for that. But the narrative wise, a lot of things they dropped the ball. R.I.P. Danny. Like, I saw that turn coming. I wouldn't call her the Mad Queen, I would just call her an ambitious human being. <laughs> she basically pulled it down, she was so driven at the end, she was so sure her destiny was this. Tyrion was dropping the ball all season, then he drops a five minute speech after Grey Worm says he's not gonna speak. That shit murdered me and the memes are killing me right now on life. But 7 out of 10, it's not bad, it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? For last season. Arya spin off. Arya spin off. Anyway, I'm just gonna watch The Westworld season 3 trailer. Good idea for making, for them dropping this shit. Cause now I got that shit in my mind. 